What is up guys? We are in Hanoi, Vietnam, and we are gonna go see what a grocery store is like here. Now, grocery stores are a fairly recent thing, and a lot of people in Vietnam don't really go to grocery stores, but now they're very common in the city, so let's go check one out. Alright, so this is the grocery store. Uh, there's a coffee shop right next to it, and the grocery store is actually upstairs. Uh, one thing you might notice is there's not really that many cars parked here. It's mostly just the motorbikes, because that's how a lot of people get around. Alright, so there's a mandatory hand sanitizer and like a laser temperature check before you come in. But once you're inside this building, the grocery store is actually upstairs. So to me, it seems like a pretty standard grocery store like something you'd find in the West, except like, I don't know, everything's in Vietnamese. But um, other than that, nothing, nothing too strange. But it's a pretty cool place. So let's go check out some of the more interesting products and see what the prices are like at this grocery store. So there's a lot of western brands, but it's clearly like all labeled for the Vietnamese market because we are in Vietnam. But yeah, a lot of similar stuff you might find in the United States, but a lot of new stuff too. Like uh, I might be wrong, but I don't think we have like a Texas tenderloin steak flavor Lay's chips, but uh, maybe those would be good, I don't know. All right, here we have some beef jerky type stuff. Looks kind of interesting. I don't know what these are, some kind of fruits, some uh, seeds. So this is kind of interesting too. I think the cans here are like a different shape. Like, uh, they seem to be like a lot taller and narrower. I remember them being like shorter and fatter in the US. But then you have like these massive ones too, which I think are way bigger than anything at home. All right, no grocery store would ever be complete without some Super League heroes. Uh, yeah, there seems to be a lot of toys here. Seems pretty cool. All right, this right here is probably the best aisle in the whole store. This is where all the snacks and candy are. But these are like the best things I have here that they don't have other places. Like the dried fruit chips, they're so good. So let's see, they got like a banana, jackfruit, pineapple, passion fruit. They usually have mango too, which are really good. Oh no, the mango ones are over there. But um, yeah, this is a really cool aisle because they have all this like uh, more like Vietnamese candy kind of stuff, which you know honestly I don't like too much. But then they have like a lot of the kind of hybrid Western Vietnamese candy. Like uh, I don't know, this looks Japanese, right? And there's like some Korean stuff and Chinese. I don't know. It's everything pretty cool. And then here you have like the Haribo, like straight up European stuff. So I like this style. All right, so that's about it for that store. One kind of weird thing is like you have all these shopping carts, but you're also upstairs and there's just like an escalator to get down. So you can't really buy anything like too big here, but still a pretty good store. And you don't really need something too big because most people don't come in cars. So let's go back down for a bit and explore the rest of the mall. So that store up there was Vinmart, and that's like, it's a Vietnamese grocery store, but it's kind of Western. But then over here, they have like a straight up European one where it's all imported stuff from Europe. But that one's really expensive, so we won't go there. But let's take a quick glance. Yeah, it's over there. But uh, let's head back out. All right, so that's about it for a grocery store. We'll check out some other stores in the future, but that one I thought is pretty nice.
and I go to that one pretty regularly.